The first elimination of the little brown jug. Here off and pacing River Shark and Mr. Wiggles going for the lead. On the inside, straight shooting gets away third. Bunkmeister fourth. Pedro Island racing fifth from the second tier. As they race around the turn, going to the backside in the first quarter. Clear vision and David Miller. Three wide on the outside. Next comes If I Can Dream. Keep it real down the backside. Inside double shot of Scotch and Annie's Western card trails. Opening quarter, 26 and 2. On top of the field with the lead. That's River Shark and Luke Willett. Racing second as they race around the turn. Mr. Wiggles, straight shooting, pacing third. Pedro Island fourth, racing fifth. The end of the stretch, clear vision. First time. We've got six in, four out at the half. Straight shooting, out and moving for Dave Pallone. 54 and two, but it's River Shark showing the way. Straight shooting, up on the outside second. Mr. Wiggles racing third. As they race around the turn, on the outside, clear vision, racing fourth. Pedro Island fifth, down the backside, three wide, if I can dream. Going to the three-quarter mark, they're going at it on the front end. River Shark, straight shooting on the outside. Mr. Wiggles racing third, three quarters, one, 22 and three, 28 and one. And the battle's on with an eighth of a mile to go. River Shark, straight shooting on the outside. Mr. Wiggles, nowhere to go. Third, outside, if I can dream. Down the stretch, River Shark, straight shooting on the outside. River Shark, straight shooting on the outside. Inside, Mr. Wiggles. Four of them across the track. Photo for when? What do you mean? Not four, seven. What a finish in the jug. Number 10, if I can dream, surge late on the outside. I don't know if it was enough to get past River Shark or not. Mr. Wiggles trying to squeeze up the cones. we got to take another look at that stretch drive in slow-mo if we can and just see how this first elimination turned out. A wild, wild finish in this one. Uh, we talked about this elimination pretty evenly matched and certainly looked that way at the finish line. Yeah, the, I think it was either 4-10 or 10-4, but let me tell you, it was a blanket, blanket finish. Uh, coming across the wire. I'm sure we'll take another look, and I'm sure the judges are going to take a, a long look at a couple of photos here because it is just about as close as I've seen. And how about Tim Tietrich with I Can, If I Can Dream with that big rally? This could be the, the bulletproof uh, couple of days here in Delaware, right. Ohio. Definite photo for win in the first elimination of the jug. And Mr. Wiggles had pace, nowhere to go. Uh, he wanted a quarter move to the lead on the backstretch going to the quarter, and Luke Willett had no intentions of chucking him loose with River Sharks. So Corey Callahan ended up stuck in there. Great effort by straight shooting. The horse you like first over for Dave Pallone. Uh, just a wild race there. Okay, here we are coming to the wire. River Shark, if I can dream late on the outside, straight shooting is there. Oh, Mr. The Wiggles there too, up the yeah. rail. Let's see what we got. Man, here's the wire. I'm, I'm guessing Tietrich. Yeah, I guess the one was split. I, I didn't think the one was that close up. I, I, it could have been 10-1 for Inquiry. Against number four, Mr. Wiggles. Inquiry against number four, Mr. Wiggles. Possible pylon violation in the stretch. Unofficially posted, 10-1-4-5. If I can dream, Tracy Brainerd's dream couple of days wow. continuing bulletproof and her and Josh Marks won the jug at yeah. yesterday. If I can dream takes the first elimination. Straight shooting first over, huge try second. Mr. Wiggle, subject of an inquiry, did he gain an unfair advantage by going inside pylons or did he even go inside pylons? And River Shark, the pacemaker, got beat what? A neck and, and finishes fourth. fourth. Is the winter circle ready for another trip from Josh Marks is all I'm saying after yesterday. They could be uh, He's gonna have the championship oh, belt on. That's right. After your belt stuff. 
And you know, they're walking the horse back, too, so we got a little bit of time before the winter circle uh, Sam, celebration. How about Look at this. Let's see if Mr. Wiggles uh, goes inside a pylon just before the finish here. Do, 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 do. I uh -oh. would say yes. Yeah, it could be trouble. And I'm not sure if we have access to a head-on shot, uh, if that's in our repertoire or not, but this is going to be a, a tough call for the... Uh, uh, judges with uh, Mr. Wiggles. And the Bulletproof Enterprises horses won two and some intrigue. Brainerd's train straight shooting until this start. And now so, the Burks have the horse. And, and, and get nosed out by the other Brainerd horse. Right. So. And how about our man Tim Tietrich, huh? Yep. He hasn't had a great run at Delaware so far, but maybe today is his day. Got something to drive here and got the job done. That was that was a crazy race, that wasn't was. it? That, that last really uh, three eights, they were all over the place. At this time, Back in front of the stands, your unofficial winner, first elimination of the Little Brown Jug, number 10, If I Can Dream, home of the Bulletproof Enterprises, Boca Raton, Florida, Tracy Brainerd, the trainer, Jim Tietrich in the Sonky. Wingest drivers, purse money, one of the top drivers in the sport of harness racing, coming to the winner's circle. With his first win of the week. One of the biggest. Well, as the uh, four still blinks, here comes the 10 to the winner circle. This is one handsome horse. If I could dream, half mile specialist, Confederation Cup, Rooney, and now the first heat of the Little Brown Jug. And they're already hugging and carrying on. Not quite like the, the final celebration, but let's uh, head upstairs and hear more from Roger. It's the four. Mr. Wiggles, possible pylon violation in the stretch. So if I can dream is safe on top and uh, straight shooting is safely second as uh, Bulletproof backs up the Brinks truck here for the uh, first elimination. Mr. Wiggles, subject of a inquiry for the possible pylon violation. There's Tim and his uh, girlfriend Ashley, who's a champion barrel racer, by the way, in uh, Illinois, and now with some uh, horses in Delaware as well. And she's excellent, too, like travels around. And I think Tim bought her a big uh, rig, sleeping quarters, four-horse trailer, big diesel truck, the whole boatload. Well, they can fuel it up after this uh, first Yeah, team. very nice young lady attending college at Purdue, and just oh. about done as well, so from Big Ten country. And... Uh, Finishing fourth was number five, River Shark, and a tip of the hat to him. He raced big, too. Luke had one thing in mind, going to the lead and controlling it, and that's exactly what he did. And, again, lost by about a neck and winds up fourth. And we're going to await uh, the judge's decision here. It's a tough call. Sam. We can see the judges. They're on top of the roof on the other side of the track from our broadcast position, and they are intently studying those TV monitors, intently. Tough, tough call. Did the horse gain an unfair advantage by doing so? And, you know, if, and, they, and if, if they do play some, how far back? Right. Does he still get in the final or not? So at least the Ram is catching up with uh, Tim Tiedrich in the... Uh, Winner circle as if I can dream heads back toward the jug barn, taking his time too. He's a pretty calm horse. He walked back to the winner circle, walking back to the jug barn. He'll be half cooled out by the time yeah. he gets there. Well, we'll know what happens with uh, Mr. Wiggles by the response of the crowd. But right now, let's find out more from Tim Tretrick about this wild drive with if I can dream. Okay, thanks, Sam. Well, a wild drive indeed, Timmy. Post 10, never thought you could get there. What happened? Tell me about the race. You know, thank God the horse is really on his game today because uh, he was three wide the whole last, uh, you know, three-eighths of a mile, and he really kept digging and kept fighting, and, you know, uh, the horse on the front backed up a little bit, and I give all the credit to the horse. You know, it did a great job. 29-2 and two, uh, the last quarter, obviously, that helped. Did you get pushed out a little bit in the last turn? Yeah, a little bit, you know, but I was three wide the whole last turn, and, uh, you know, I just give all the credit to the horse because, uh, you know, he really put in a great effort. What were your thoughts going into the race, uh, going from post 10? Uh, obviously, having post 10, you could have scored out behind anybody if you wanted to leave. 
yeah, actually, uh, the words I could wanted to say I can't say on television, but uh, you know, it uh, you know he. Uh,